The last decade in Massachusetts was aptly described by the Boston Globe as a lost decade. More people and more jobs left our state than any other time in our history. We've been told by big government Beacon Hill elites that people and jobs have left our state because of the weather, fooling us into thinking that North Carolina or Arizona are more comfortable places to live. My friends, it's not the weather, but it is the climate. It's a climate that has sent our neighbors packing and businesses folding. A climate of unaccountability, where Beacon Hill does what it wants, when it wants, as it wants, ignoring the will of the people. Massachusetts stands at a defining moment in its history. And the question becomes, how do we change direction? I don't believe this is a question about experience, education, gender, or age. The question of this campaign is whether we choose to move forward or look backward. This is about the past versus the future. And the old ways will no longer do. It's time for a new generation of leadership. Today, I announce my candidacy for state representative of the 18th Worcester District, aware of the failures of our past, but hopeful for a brighter, more prosperous tomorrow. I will run a positive campaign worthy of my family, friends, the people behind me, and the people of this district. I'm not running against any one person or any one political party. I'm running for a new beginning, a Massachusetts where people are proud to call home, where they want to live, build a career, raise a family, and spend the rest of their life. A state where the people's vote at the ballot is counted and where their government is held accountable. The greatness of our country permits us the freedom to debate ideas. And make no mistake, this election is too important not to debate ideas. And there are differences in this election. One side believes in a progressive government, like allowing illegal immigrants the ability to enroll in mass health. We support and respect all those who have immigrated here legally, but we demand the deportation of those who have not. One side will make age an issue in this campaign. Our campaign is more concerned about the age of the failed ideas of yesterday, the same stale and failed ideas that led to the last lost decade. One side has tolerated the intolerable Beacon Hill status quo for years, taking money from lobbyists, special interest groups, raising your taxes, and cutting local services. We won't wait until an election year to have the convictions to do what is right and the common sense to say what is wrong. And that day begins right now. One side has ignored the will of the people at the ballot. We believe elected representatives are your servants, not your masters, and that your voice and vote should not just be heard, but heeded. We will work to reduce the state income tax, as you voted for, implement English immersion in classrooms, as you voted for, for term limits, clean elections, and charitable deductions, all voted for by you, all overturned against you. One side will laud their fiscal conservatism, pointing to their citizens for limited taxation rating found in a recent paper of 73% during an election year, conveniently forgetting that last year's rating was 19% and the year before that 25. We won't play political posturing when it comes to your checkbook. Not now, not ever. One side will say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We believe Massachusetts is broke, and come November, we intend to fix it. We the people can win this race, we will win this race, we must. This is going to be a great opportunity for your voice to be heard, and it's time for a new beginning. And I look forward to working to achieve that goal with you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. It's on. Thanks so much. Good job. It's on. It's on.